Hey, so today we're going to talk about the molar mass of compounds. There was already a video on just the molar mass of elements. So now we have a molar mass of a compound. And a compound is something that contains more than one element. Our example is CaHCO3. And that is hard water. So to find your molar mass from the previous videos, you know you have to go to the periodic table. So first, the molar mass of calcium is 40.08. So you have calcium. And there's only one calcium in that compound, so times one. And that equals 40.08 grams per mole. Now you move on to your hydrogen atom. And in this you have two HCO3s coming off your calcium, so you have two H's. This two applies to this H as well. So you have hydrogen times two, and you go to your periodic table, find the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.008. You go back here, and so 1.008 times two is 2.01588 grams per mole. Your two also applies to your carbon. So you have carbon times two. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01. So 12.01 times two is 24.022 grams per mole. And your last atom is oxygen. And with oxygen, there's three, and so three times two. So you have six oxygen, so times six. And you find your molar mass of oxygen, which is 16. So you go back to your and you find 16 times 6 is 95.9964 grams per mole. So to find the entire mass, molar mass, of the compound, you add all of these together. So your final molar mass of your compound is 162.112 grams per mole. Thanks for watching this video.